You've had a carpet burn as an adult. It's very easy. All you got to do is catch yourself on some carpet and slip a little. And it's it's all the risk. It's not how I got it. Oh, well, there are other you know, ways. There are other ways. Yep. There are other ways. And we'll just say there are other ways. There, there, there are other, there's really only one other way that I know. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Hold Up. This is the show that is, it's really just two people arguing about things that don't really matter. But they matter to everyone, but not in a a huge way. It's not going to affect your life that much at all. Um, I'm Josh Johnson. I'm a writer for The Daily Show and I'm a co-host of the podcast. I'm joined by... Dulce Sloan! Bridges! Brah, 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 brah! I'm a course father of the Daily Show. I'm a stand-up comedian. I love Jesus, and one of my favorite things to do is make Josh make the face he's making right now. Today, <laughs> we're gonna be talking. You weenie. Me weenie. Me you weenie. Weenie. I've done nothing. I've done You're nothing weenie. today. <laughs> I'm not a weenie at all. All right. I'm a grown man. Okay. <laughs> Um, Grown today, men can be weenies. T- 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 I, look, I'm not one. Hmm? I am not a weenie. Okay, I'm just you. Remember that you tell the streets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When they talk about me in the streets, I am the whole dog. All right. Okay. I am not a weenie. Okay. Thank you. We're not gonna be talking about the streets today. Today we're gonna be talking about the insides. All right. We're talking about. Carpet versus oh. hardwood floors. You know how okay? weird that sounded? It didn't sound that weird. I, I was talking about not talking about the streets, talking about the insides. That didn't sound weird to you? When when you let it linger like that, it becomes weird. But if you oh, were to just go whole ahead time. and no 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 no, 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 if you would just go ahead and talk normal when it was normal, it wouldn't be weird, you know. Mm. But when you leave a silence in a room, mm. it becomes weird. Oh, yeah, just me. A hundred percent. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Tell the people where you land on this debate of carpet versus hardwood floors. I'm going to have to say, as someone whose <laughs> hips and back have been suffering <laughs> on these hard ass floors. Oh, wow. Since wow. I left the great state of Georgia. Because see, my mama's house had hardwood and carpet and I mm. loved being upstairs. Okay. You know it wasn't upstairs? Hmm. Hardwood. So many places, have, people are like, oh, carpet's gross. Carpet's not gross if you clean it. You make mm. nasty. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. Carpet is lo- is nice. It's soft, you know. And mm-hmm. if you get the chance, you can shuffle your feet on it and and, and shock your brother or your mom. Uh, mm-hmm. Or every once in a while, you get uh, <laughs> static electricity shock your cat. Not on purpose. Uh huh. Or just going to pick up the cat. You've been on the floor all day. Or they shock you. That's interesting. A cat miracle came up and she went zoop, and we were both very much caught off guard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. She was imagine "Ah." a cat looking at its paws, being like, "More powers." (laughs) There's a video of a cat on memory foam. Uh huh. It's you know they step down and it goes back up. It step down yeah. and goes back up. And at one point the cat's like walking backwards, looking at his paw prints, but they keep popping up. And then the cat just looks at his paw. <laughs> He's like, step, step, step. The fuck? Like he just looks at his hand like, Am I not doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Cats also have so much confidence yes. that to see one be like, Is it me? Mm-hmm. Is is particularly is is like particularly insane where usually cats are like no i know better than water cat. all right calm yourself i'm gonna go ahead and lick the back rather than dip it in some water and actually clean it i'm gonna lick it until i feel like it's clean that's the amount of confidence that cats have right uh-huh. so for a cat to look at its own paw and be like maybe it's me i don't that does not happen in nature 
No, it's because it, there's no memory foam in nature. It's, it's wild because even humans are like, I'm just supposed to bounce on this thing and then everything. And I, and I get up and it's not shaped like me. Wow. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so I'm saying this carpet is soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hard would be fucking up sciaticas. <laughs> I love when you start a story like this. I, I had a boy back in the day who his his girl was cheating and he found out from the memory. <laughs> Josh. Because the dude had just left when he got there. Josh. <laughs> and it wasn't like a cartoon. It wasn't like a perfect imprint, but it was just like, you don't take up that much space on a bed. <laughs> Josh, Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, Johnson. I will not. Did I ever tell you? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Fucking wild, Josh Johnson. I can. How does anyone? I mean, it was it was one of those things, too, where I'm sure if he didn't think about it, it wasn't going to, it wasn't going to, like, really occur to him, but. Because of the memory foam. Because of the memory foam. And once again, not uh, some perfect imprint. Not some head to toe foot, you know, Looney Tune through a wall <laughs> imprint. Not Kool-Aid man through your through not the side Kool-Aid, door. No, not Kool-Aid man in the mattress. I'm okay. I'm saying it was just too big of an indention coming back up <laughs> off the bed. So he, he knows like, what his shape is. He knows what his shape is. And then he saw that shape and said, oh, that's not. That's not me. That's I not just my walked back, in. That's not my backside. Yeah. Also, how is there an indention if I haven't been here? And that dude just left. But yeah, carpet is also, yeah, you, you think carpet's comfortable and everything. I'm with you. I'm with you. What I am against is carpet in a bathroom. That's a bad idea. That is wild. And I've I've seen it a couple times just in, I even... <laughs> This is the wildest thing to me about about when people choose to put carpet in and they do it in a bathroom or they just do it in a place that doesn't make a lot of sense. One of the reasons that there's been a turn, there's been a turn this decade yeah. Yeah. against carpet yeah. onto my side, onto the hardwood floor side of the argument is because cheap hotels, motels. Oh no! They've, no, they've done they've done carpet dirty, and they become a representative, an unwanted representative of of the carpet brand. That this is just covering something up. That this is just dirty. Now, yeah, because they've done carpet dirty, meaning that not that they've been inappropriate to carpet, is that when they're doing carpet, the carpet is dirty. The carpet's dirty, and it doesn't actually. I don't even know what you would call it. Someone who actually does uh, interior design would know what it is, but. Mm-hmm. I've never uh, seen in a motel a carpet that was flush to the wall. It's either an inch short, <laughs> so you see what the real floor looks like, or it's like slightly riding up the wall in the corner. Where you be staying? This is where I was staying. This is I... where I'm staying now. <laughs> where you be staying? Come on, you know what you 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 know my literal struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. I mean, listen, I've been in a hotel where there was a, a band aid stuck to the wall. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I'm not going to say that I haven't lived this life. I haven't been in a smoking hotel room in uh, Middle Tennessee. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to tell you mm. a lie on myself. Mm-hmm. What I will say, I noticed that now cheaper hotels. Mm-hmm. One, it probably is easier to maintain if you're a cheap ass hotel. Yeah, it's probably easier to maintain not having carpet. One, spills are much easier to get in; nothing's seeping down. Mm-hmm. Like I can, I see the motivation. The hotels are always cold as shit, mm-hmm. and the floor is so slippery. Like, I'm never in a situation where I'm like, I wanted to bust my ass today. Like, I'm not that, I don't, I don't know why, the, why I busted my ass always seems to be the option. Like, I just can't live. You know what I mean? Okay. 
Because the floors are yeah. so slippery. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never wanted to meet Jesus like this. I want to, you know, go mm-hmm. on my sleep like a Christian, uh, surrounded by my loved ones and one good enemy. Um, I. <laughs> that that would be funny to just be on your deathbed and look over at somebody and be like, "See how many people love me." Be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my friend Lace Lace Barry, she's an amazing comedian. She's like my sister. She always says that uh, when she dies, she wants to be on a funeral pyre, mm. uh, pushed out like in the middle of Lake Lanier, and she mm. wants one of her biggest enemies to row out to this burning funeral pyre. Light a cigarette off of their burning body, go, bitch, and then row back to shore. <laughs> what kind of what kind of life do you have to be living to have the type of enemies <laughs> with the upper body strength <laughs> to row out to the middle of a lake <laughs> while middle you're a, burning? Yep. And not like not a a lake that can get a little choppy if it catches some wind. Yeah, Lanier, yeah. a death lake to start with. So yeah, you're already violating the law by burning a body on this lake. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But to have someone row out to your body, light a fire, bitch, and then honestly, also mm-hmm. if this person's your greatest enemy, they have to agree to this. Yeah, yeah. They have and to hate you so much that they're like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what, bitch? I will come to your funeral. Uh, I'll bring my own oars. It's like, yeah, she deserved to die. And I hope she burns in hell. Like, that's what, <laughs> that's yeah. what we're doing. My thing is, uh, I'll, I'll pitch you this real quick. Ooh, I love I, a pitch. I love a pitch. I think that there's a stigma on hardwood floors that they are are what make you really um, bust ass and and crack skull and and uh, uh, bang knee, right? But let's not forget that carpet is not innocent here. It's not some innocent bystander. It's not some some sweet catch all. Ooh, you failed. Let me catch you on this soft carpet. No, it's not all that. It's not all it's cracked up to be. There's a dark side to carpet that y'all need to understand. It's called carpet, carpet burn. burns. We know. Mm-hmm. No, no, y'all don't act like you know though. We were all, all the tra- carpet people that I know want to act like they've never slid and burned. Okay, it's been first of all, I'm not a child. So I don't think I've had a... That's not true. You've had a carpet burn as an adult. It's very easy. All you got to do is catch yourself on some carpet and slip a little. And it's it's all the risks. That's not how I got it. Oh. Well, there are other ways. There are other ways. Yep. There are other ways. And we'll just say there are other ways. There there, there are other... There's really only one other way that I know. (laughs) openly discussed yeah there's really mm, crazy now that i think about it, there are really only two ways yeah 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 and then riding down the stairs and you know you you're riding the lit you're riding down the stairs and you know whatever your medium for sliding goes out from underneath you that's how you do mm-hmm. that's the other way that's yeah. the only other that's way the e for everyone way <laughs> Yes, E for everyone way to get carpet burns on your knees. Or now, I do feel like mm-hmm. the other thing is, you brought it up, this is a really great point. Okay. The cleanliness and the ability to keep these floors clean. Now, with a carpet, you're going to want to have not just a vacuum, but you're going to want to have the right vacuum for the texture of carpet that you have. It's called you know? the pile. The pile? The height of your carpet. Really? Okay. It's yeah. Pile. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. All right. So the, so, the, so old vacuums. Remember that knob that used to be on the front of like those bag yeah. vacuums? Yeah. 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 That was for the pile because if you had like say you had a carpet that was just like a fade. Mm-hmm. Like this is a very short like low cut fade. Mm-hmm. You very would have uptown it on the, carpet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This carpet would it would it line up. Yeah, with some edges. With some edges. The carpet with some edges. Sidebar, can we talk about the ineffectiveness of the carpet sweeper? Okay, okay. 
I'm glad someone finally brought it up. It took about 20 years, but finally someone yeah. has brought up something that's bothered me for decades. My entire childhood, they would be like, they'd give you this thing. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, what the fuck is this for? Like the amount of times you went over one, mm-hmm. one thing. Yeah. One thing. The worst was you would see somebody in a restaurant using one. You're like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. That's not going to work. That's gonna, not going to work. You're going to spend your whole shift. Your whole yeah. shift mm-hmm. trying to get them crumbs from underneath that tape. You will have one strong tricep and one regular tricep if you keep going. <laughs> You're going to be annoyed. You're going to be yeah. anno- You might as well just mop. The, you might as well just mop. That's very funny. You might as well mop the carpet for all the good <laughs> that you're doing. The way that um, a carpet needs special care and attention if you're trying to keep it pristine if you're trying to keep it like the day you bought it for years you're Mm. gonna have to do a little bit more than just like oh i bought a dyson vacuum and you know i guess we're good you know i remember one of the punishments as a kid Mm -hmm. was cleaning the house cleaning the carpet and not being allowed to use the vacuum like having to sweep carpet yeah yeah you ever just get punished with a puzzle that's right and the thing is, but the secret is sweeping carpet. Mm-hmm. It's swift. You can't, like, you know, with a, with a regular, like, on a hardwood floor, you take a broom, you just slide it across. Mm-hmm. With a carpet, you really have to just do very quick motions. Mm-hmm. Kind of To like, get it all, yeah, to get it all irritated and dusted up, yeah. Yeah, to get it all dusted up. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why they started, like, when Carpet Fresh came out, everybody's house smelled wild as hell. Because Carpet Fresh smelled like something you put down for a pet. Like, it never smelled like, ooh, now my house smells like a meadow. No, it's, ooh, you must have a dog. I I also think that, so, we, you know, we've talked about potential injury. We've talked about cleanliness. Uh, You know, that hardwood wins that one 100%. Easy floor, easy mop, easy Swiffer, you know? Yes. Um, but Swiffer, now Swiffer, we have to talk about Swiffer changed the game. It did, yeah. But I will say before, so as someone who didn't grow up with a Swiffer the whole time, mm-hmm. right? The Swiffer came later. There was a, a a true difference. That was one of the first products. The Swiffer was one of the first products that was as easy to use as it actually looked in the commercial. A lot of those yes. commercials like to make it look like they're making your life so much easier. The Swiffer up. really came through and was like, no, you know, what? you could just stand here. You got the whole thing. Just stand here and do it. That's the whole thing right there. And then it was like, OK, it was, here's the, like basically it's like here's a. Clorox, here's a baby wipe for your floor. Right? Mm-hmm. Also, and then when they got the Swiffer wet jet, nigga. Mm. You're telling me with just two AA batteries and some floor juice. I do feel like it, it changed my perspective on cleaning, too. Because it used to be when I had to sweep... I was like, all right, now I gotta get, I gotta get under the couch, gotta move the couch, gotta sweep mm-hmm. under here. What, what? I mean, I'm not even gonna find any pennies. This is, this is terrible. And then with the Swiffer, the way it attracted the dust. Yes. The way that it was like, no, 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 no. You've done enough. I got you. Let me put in some work. I got you. I want to touch on something now that I feel like is, uh, it's not always considered. Because, you know, ideally, it's not going to happen to you. But, you know, you and I, we live in New York. I know you're blessed enough. I've been blessed enough to be in high floors. Mm -hmm. But not everybody has that, you know. There are people that live below us. There's people that live below other people all the time. What would you rather your upstairs neighbor have? Hardwood? Clanking and clanking and clanking? Or carpet? I feel like this is one of the things where I have to concede a little bit mm. where carpet carpet comes in over hardwood. Hardwood takes an L when it comes to neighbors. It really does. I, in my other apartment, I had a neighbor. Mm-hmm. As I was recording the car, like, right north. And this person would vacuum every Friday. But I didn't know what they were vacuuming. Yeah. Because we all had hardwood floors. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing? Hey, maybe within their hardwood, they have uh, some spaces. 
might those some of those wood pieces might have some spaces like some extra gaps in the teeth and they got to vacuum them out what i feel like i was like maybe they had rugs because the thing is there's nothing to stop you from running a vacuum over a hardwood floor i have Mm -hmm. a roomba a roomba also a roomba is like if you gave puppies it's like if you gave a puppy or a kitten a job is a roomba Mm -hmm. because they're like oh it maps your house no the fuck it doesn't it runs into walls yeah until and then it, it goes, of, that's a wall. It runs in the walls until it runs out of power. Yeah. It fucks up your floorboards until it can't fucks them up no more. That's all I remember. And it's like, it's helpful because like, I don't have to clean my floor now. Mm-hmm. La Rumba is cleaning my floor. I get mm-hmm. it. It's great. But, girl, <laughs> put the bottle down. <laughs> Just drunk. The way that you said put the bottle, like the way that all this came together really was a a mystery to me until you, because you went, you you were saying something else and then you just out of nowhere say, girl, put the bottle down. And I was like, I was trying to nod with you. I was trying to be like, okay, maybe this is going to be something. Remember, drunk as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, being being a Roomba, really. Just slamming a vacuum into walls. Just truly, just really mm-hmm. real stuntman energy. But I can tell you that that Roomba, that Roomba has fucked up three of my pedicures. Oh, because it ran over your foot? Absolutely. I mean, in the most disrespectful way. So does it, how does it work? Does it run into your foot fast? How does that work? There's some little bit of speed behind it, but it didn't just run into my foot. It ran over my foot. Damn. I didn't even know they had that type of clearance. I did not either until it chipped. Like, it, I mean, always, it's always chipping a big toe or a baby toe. I thought they were really just sucking floor. And so the fact the fact that it could go over, that's terrifying. I think it's got an all-terrain setting. Wait, what did you say? An all terrain. No, wait. So you think it has an all? Ter- so to clean, to clean the outside too? Would you I put think it? I think it's got a four by four setting. So you would let it clean a mountain. I think that they have adapted it to where because it's like it has to be able to go up things. So it has to be go up on the carpet, go down to the floor. I'm not mm-hmm. saying it's going over stairs, but it has to deal with like probably different heights of things. Okay. So like, fuck it. Let's just put a four by four in this bitch. All right. What you mean? Well, I I didn't say anything. I said all right. How did it? If not, how? If I, not me, when? I feel like there's a huge amount of middle ground between what what you pr- just proposed and what it's actually doing. <sighs> you know the what? way that you're the way that you're being like. If it's not that, then what could it be? Is 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 not correct to me? Are you a scientist? <laughs> this is what this is what happens. You catch somebody in a wild projection, and then they immediately turn on you. Are you an engineer? It's like I'm what? just asking, nigga. Are you a scientist? Okay, I want answers. You, we are both. Idea. We're the both idea. theater majors. Yeah, but the fact that we both don't know doesn't mean one of us definitely knows. But you were talking from a place that you thought you might know. No, I'm talking from a place where that does sound right. You always do this to me. I always do what? You always do this to me. You make it sound like that I'm saying the wild thing. (laughs) Making it sound like? What are you talking about? Making it sound like. Yes. Making it sound as if it yes. is not wild that you said that under the Roomba is all terrain. I'm just saying, I don't know why they put a four by four in that bitch. I mean, there's truly no way, to me at least, mm. no way that carpet comes out on top of hardwood. I think that hardwood has laid down a literal foundation do for a beautiful 
and picturesque home. I think that carpet, sometimes it's very easy for carpet to be ruined. Let's talk about ruined for a second. Let, let, let's talk about damage because Listen, you really got to burn a- hardwood. You really got to smash hardwood all you to really ruin need- it. A girl I was friends with was having like a party at her parents' house. Uh huh. Um, mm-hmm. And her little cousin mm-hmm. went in the den with a red drink. Okay. And the carpet was like white, like a light cream white color. Can we just say very brave? Very brave. Very and, brave of them. And all of us who were uh, like young adults. Uh huh. So like t- late twenties, early thirties, all went. Ah! Like, hey, 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 come back, come back. Yeah. And then her mom was like, oh, he's fine. And we went, excuse me, I don't live there. This isn't my house. But I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, I said, that little boy gave me everybody flashbacks. We're not, we, we don't have to go on a full tangent, but the bravery, the hubris. The, the hubris. The fucking, and then the thing, we thought it was hubris, but then she was like, no, he's okay. We weren't, no, he's not. Mm-hmm. He can't be in there with that. Mm-hmm. And not only that, she was like, no, he's fine. And, and then my friend whose mom and whose house it was, she was like, you would have never let me in there. And we were like, we wouldn't have been allowed. And so, because we all refused. Like, there was older adults, like parent age in there with food and drinks. Mm-hmm. Everybody who was in the, like the 20s and 30s would not go in the den unless somebody was like, we're like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? It's okay for us to do this? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Because mm-hmm. they, of course they had like barbecue or something. We all refused to go in the living room. Because the other issue at play. Because is we were the... traumatized. Yeah. That's the other. We were truly fucking traumatized. We could not even handle the idea. Imagine ruining a part of your house or someone else's. That's, that's or what... someone else's. That's the position that carpet can put you in. You can destroy a hardwood floor. Oh, it's much harder. There's nothing you can do to a hardwood floor that wouldn't also destroy a carpet floor. You can't scratch carpet. Yeah, but you can make a tear. You can. But a tear in carpet is much easier to fix than a tear in hardwood. You can fuck up a hardwood floor. You can gouge it. You can you can stain a hardwood floor just like you can stain a carpet. It's easier to stain a carpet than it is to stain a hardwood floor. But it can be done now i'll say in for me in my house Mm -hmm. i would prefer carpet just because like in a hotel room i understand not going to hard even though when i'm in a hotel room that doesn't have carpet it's always i don't like that either i do understand why cheaper hotels like if i'm staying at a cheap hotel please have a hardwood floor yeah but if i'm staying at the london in la Bro, come on. Give me some carpet. Give me a nice, now, luscious... You know the wildest place I've ever seen carpet? Huh. I was at Jamie Foxx's house. Okay. And this man had carpet outside that went almost right up to the pool. That is That is wild. I mean, it's a brilliant thing, though, because that means when you're getting out of the pool and you're you know, dripping on the floor, you're drying up as you're walking. Right, because I'm sure it's specific indoor carpet, but the thing is, it was the same color as the carpet from the house. Mm. Oh, so so it really makes the pool feel like it's in the living room. I got you. Or, you know, it's a continuous thing where you're like, and it was the softest carpet I've ever been in in my life. I don't know if they put Mm. foam underneath this outdoor carpet, put the steps down to the pool area, and then around the pool area, it was like, spongy soft wasn't even wet that's wild it was nice but i'm like this is a i i don't to attain those heights Mm -hmm. because people like what's luxury okay yeah what's luxury how do you know you've made it carpet by your pool white carpet by your pool come on dog that's not a life many people get to live Right before mm. we go ahead and uh, and and kick it over 
to the listener. I want to go over some of our pros and cons of each because I feel like that would be the most fair. I feel like we both agreed that when it comes to noise from upstairs neighbors, they could be they could be noisy. But uh, carpet has a clear advantage over hardwood. It dulls some of the bouncing, some of the walking, some of the dropping, you know, okay. um, whereas a, a hardwood really echoes cleaning. Hardwood's going to be much easier to clean because of Swiffer, because of vacuums, because of brooms. And uh, carpet has a bit more upkeep in the cleaning department. Okay. Uh, we, we talked about uh, injuries. And while injuries are going to be more likely on a hardwood, don't think you can't get burned by carpet. It can happen. It can happen you, to all of us. We've all been burned by carpet. Don't get it twisted. And the last one is emotional. It is It is an aesthetic thing. It's literally, what do you feel like accompanies your ensemble the best, your decor in the home mm-hmm. appropriately? And for me, right. it's hardwood. But for you, I see that it's carpet. But we want to know from you, the listener, what do you do? What What would you rather if you don't have it? What do you like about what you have? And what do you think about what we said? OK, you can let us know on any comment. You can you can obviously listen to the show. You can you know let us know through Daily Show, through any hold up um, uh, post that you see. We mm-hmm. we check we check our comments and everything. So let us know. Hit us up. Write us a review. Leave us uh, five stars and let us know how you feel about at least one of us being right. Yeah, it's. I can say this is the most salient argument we've had in a long conversation we've had in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Pat ourselves in. Mm-hmm. One of those. One. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos. Mm-hmm. Um. But also, it's, I think, where this is one where you, I'm very proud of you because usually you get very attackful. And. Oh, oh I, okay. I get attacked. Okay. All right. That's cool. What you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. All right. As long as we've known each other, you're right. I'm the one. I'm, I'm the one that, that gets that gets a little combative immediately, you know, that comes at you sort of sideways and stuff. That's, that's me. That's I'm me. not, I'm not saying. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. That I don't be saying stuff. Yeah, just remember who called who a weenie at the top of the episode. <laughs> Talking about you proud of me. All right. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, wait. Is this what gaslighting is? Oh, I think, yes, I smell gasoline. <laughs> If you like any of my little anecdotes, you should check out The Josh Johnson Show. It's my other podcast. It also comes out every Thursday wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, do you have anything that you want to tell them before we go, Dulce? I enjoy The Josh Johnson Show. Listen to my podcast. Hold up. But don't say <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have a great rest of the day and a wonderful weekend. We will catch you next time. Sweep, 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 sweep. Hey, everybody. It's Josh here. I'm going to be doing stand up on the road as part of the freshman tour. March 10th and 11th, I'll be in Kansas City at the Kansas City Improv. You can get your tickets at improvkc.com or in the link that we provide. And then after that, I'm going to be in Fort Collins at the Comedy Fort, March 31st and April 1st. It's not a joke. I'll really be there. You can get your tickets in the link that we provide or by going to comedyfortcollins.com. And you can catch Dulce. You can catch me in the mall with your daddy, or I will be at the Grand Rapids Comedy Club, February 23rd to the 25th, Laugh Seattle, March 3rd to the 4th, and our Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase in Ann Arbor, Michigan, March 9th to the 11th. So make sure your mama's out holding your dad's hand, because I'm a 